Hey, okay. I think this is going to work. Got a few kids absent today, and I thought I should just uh, tell you what we did. So here's what we did. We're trying to write something that we can use um, um, to... Uh, we're trying to write something. We're trying to write. So when we write, it just start out um, randomly anywhere, but it's kind of nice to get your thoughts together um, to get started. So here we go. So this is called what I call a spider map. I'm not really sure if that's what other people call it. but So if I was going to write about something that I did, I harvested some bananas last weekend. So right here, harvest. I don't even have to write the word harvest because I'm going to remember. This is just for me. This is just my notes. But I could just write bananas. And then I think about the different things I, I might want to say about harvesting bananas, like like uh, like where I have to go, it's 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 muddy. Oops, and it's it's steep. These could be two separate things, but this is just generally the terrain where I'm walking. Okay. Also, the tools I use, I use a machete. I think that's how you spell machete. Um, and then machete, of course, there's something else I could say about that. It has to be sharpened. So I can, I can write sharp. I can write stone because I used a stone to sharpen it. Okay. Um, also where I go to harvest the bananas, it's, um, it's clear that there've been some pigs around. I can kind of smell them and I can hear them sometimes in the distance. And then I also know every once in a while, I go to harvest some bananas and a rat falls out. So I usually kind of give it a shake a little first and then usually the rat falls down and runs away. Okay, machete. Uh, oh yeah, then it's hard to, it's hard to, I got a bunch of stuff I have to cut down too. I've got the old ones. Sometimes I miss some and I've got old ones I have to cut down. I might make a sentence about that. Um, I'm going to use the word rack because we use that word rack. And then I'm going to write cut because later I have to cut up that rack. Um, and like I said, sometimes there's some I have to cut down that have already gone by. So I'll write gone by. That means the ones that have kind of rotted on the, on the plant. I cut those down and they just fall down. Oh, and then there's an invasive uh, jasmine that grows. I'll put it down here so you can see there. There's invasive jasmine that grows too. So I'm going to write jasmine that I have to hack away at with my machete so that it's out of the way. So right there, I have many sentences. I might say, last weekend, I harvested bananas, period. Okay, starting with a capital letter and ending with a period, of course. And then I might say, I used my machete, period. But first I had to sharpen it with the stone. There's another sentence, right? Period. Where, and then here's another one. Where I harvest, it's muddy and steep, period. Or I could add to that and say, I almost slipped. Or afterward, I had to take a shower because it was so muddy. That's another sentence. Here's another, here's another one. I could hear some pigs in the distance. And I could smell them. That's the end of the sentence. I might add to that sentence too. I might say um, something about wishing to harvest a pig. That's the kind of person you like to be. I might say something about the rats falling. I like to, here's a new sentence. I like to shake the banana plant before I harvest it in case a rat falls on my head. It's kind of funny, right? And then, you know, that's almost enough already. I've got a bunch of sentences already. Um, I have to cut the old ones down that have already gone by. I also have to fight my way through the jasmine with my machete and hope it doesn't grow back very fast because it's invasive. That's a kind of a long sentence. If I was wishing to make it shorter, I could just say, there's a lot of jasmine growing there also. I carry the rack back to my house 
and I cut it up into hands so that I can give them away or whatever else I'm going to do with them. All right, so that's the idea. So now you would think of something that you have, have done recently or that you remember well. Maybe you went to the beach and then maybe you probably didn't bring a machete or anything like that to the beach, but maybe it was hot. Maybe you surfed. Maybe there were a lot of big waves. Maybe what else could have happened at the beach? Maybe you got sunburned. So you might write sunburned. Okay, maybe it wasn't the beach. Maybe it was you went to your relative's house, your auntie's house, or your tutu's house, your grandmother's house. What did you eat? Maybe some pie? 